global commons are threatened because our current economic activities really don't take into account the sheer fact those globally shared resources are limited. The global commons is the Earth system as a whole. It's actually the interactions amongst the land, the ocean, the atmosphere, the ice, that give us the planetary environment that we thrive in. The scientists have developed a framework that helps us understand how they're threatened. We call them the planetary boundaries, two of which are core boundaries. Climate change, because it's changing the fundamental energy balance at the Earth's surface, and the other is biosphere degradation because it's diminishing the ability of life to stabilize the planetary system. We've transgressed both of those, and they're increasing. We have only 10 years to bend the curve of GHG emissions. Science is very clear. We are losing species 1,000 times the natural rate. There are four important economic systems to be transformed because they are put a lot of pressure on global commons. Cities are huge magnets that draw in resources, metabolize them, and put waste out back into the environment. If we could get cities to be sustainable, we'd go a long way to solving the problem. The global food and agricultural system is broken. We account for 25% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. We account for 71% of its freshwater withdrawal. And we account for almost 75% of the world's biodiversity loss. We cannot continue to produce food in this way. Energy systems are one of the main drivers of the growing CO2. And we need to ramp up action so that in a decade or two, we have carbon-free energy systems. The current economic model, which is very linear, to take, make, waste, produce so much waste. In order to increase resource efficiency, we have to move toward a circular economy that understands there is no such thing as waste. Waste is only the input for the next stage. I have to be optimistic. We were at the verge of collapse of going into this very dire situation where we should be able to get us back on track. There are a lot of opportunities, a lot of goodwill. Protecting the global commons is clearly an opportunity for business. We have to develop new businesses, new business models, new ways of working, and all those are actually enormous opportunities for humanity. We have come to understand that growth is negative because it has been extractive. But if we rescue that concept and understand that growth can be regenerative, then we have a very different opportunity. Science-based targets are now becoming common in terms of what companies are willing to adopt. And uh, in the past, we felt that all these things that we were warning about was like crying wolf in the dark. But right now, the wolf is standing outside our door, and if you open it, you can stare right into its eyes. We have to act now. In fact, it is very challenging to catalyze this big scale change in those systems of urban, food, energy, and circular economy. The only way is to create coalition bringing government, business, finance, citizens together to us one shared goal, which is how to share the global commons. We at the Jeff have put this global commons as a center of our next four-year strategy. We are very, very proud of working and helping those coalitions moving forward.